Wen Fei. Thank you everyone for joining us today for this press conference. We're joined by Ms. Barcelona and Bay FC. We have head coach Del Rumea and player Atiana Bomati. Atiana Bomati. Atiana Bomati. Thank you. Atiana Bomati. Perfect. Uh, and head coach Albertine Montoya and Bay FC forward Asi Sakoshwala. Uh, let's start with an opening statement about tomorrow's match from uh, Echo Touré. Good morning to everyone. I'm very pleased to be here in the United States. Coming here to the United States is a very, always a very nice experience for us, especially because we can train in these uh, facilities. They are very nice, amazing facilities. Logistically, everything is going super well. We, we can see there is a good organization overall. Sports-wise, it's very nice. It's a very nice, nice experience because at the end, we are able to play or we are playing against um, teams that we are not used to and to know that these two teams are facing right now a very competitive season is a good a positive thing uh, for us especially because we're in the preseason so the fact that we were able to play with them it's a very positive thing for us we're very happy to be here and today was a good, uh, a good day and tomorrow is gonna, i'm sure it's gonna be you're gonna be able to enjoy a nice match as well what an incredible opportunity to play against uh what's considered the best team in the world it's a style of football that we want to try to emulate one day here in the Bay Area. And uh, just the fact that they have taken the time to come and play us at PayPal and get to see what we're about and what the NWSL is about is incredibly exciting. Uh, I just look forward to uh, having a good match and having our players experience uh, an opportunity of a lifetime. And uh, it's going to be uh, an exciting match for everyone involved. So looking forward to it. And it's an honor to play again against the best team in the world. Um, we can open up to questions in the room. Let's just go ahead and raise it. And with the phone. Go ahead. Just for him. Was that a big phone? Uh, we, we do have that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, ¿Qué tal? Eh, pues creo que he podido descansar, Pere Aitana. Eh, primer, Pere, um, una mica, primer entrenament aquí a Terres Americanas, després d'un llarg viatge. Uh, com has vist a l'equip? Sensacions? Quart partit de partit escurada, després de, de tres victòries. No sé què esperes al partit de Nava. Eh, gracias. Eh, molt bon entrenament. La veritat és que molt sorprès de com s'ha entrenat avui després d'un viatge que va ser bastant bastant exigent al dia d'ahir. Normalment quan vens eh, quan vens d'un viatge exigent, l'entrenament que et trobes eh, no és una intensitat super alta i avui en aquest cas ha sigut una intensitat altíssima i estic molt content. Eh, l'equip està creixent molt aquesta pretemporada, venim de tres partits on cada partit crec que les coses s'han fet millor. Demà tenim davant un rival molt, molt, molt exigent i estic convençut que serà un repte bastant dur per nosaltres, així que l'afrontem amb moltes ganes. Gràcies. Aitana, també et volia demanar, és la primera sessió que feu amb tot el grup conjuntes, les internacionals. Eh, no sé, sensacions amb molta calor i amb, molta, amb molt gent lag, però no sé com, com, us, com t'has trobat i com s'ha trobat la resta de l'equip. Gràcies. Bé, personalment contenta de retrobar-me amb l'equip, amb les noves incorporacions tant de jugadores com de staff, Encarem una temporada apassionant, una més, i em fa molta il·lusió ser, ser amb l'equip, perquè ah, quan entrenes sola i ets un grup de quatre, doncs no és el mateix que estan amb, amb totes les, les jugadores, no? Així que ja ben contenta, tot i que siguin aquestes condicions amb jet lag, això no importa, l'important és que estem de, de tornada i, i que volem gaudir molt aquest any. Other questions in the room? I, I, we do have a couple questions that we have a, three questions that have been submitted uh, online. This one's for Aussie Sop. First question: What do you list? Oh, just, what do you list the most uh, about person or Ivanza? Um, I think I would just say um, my friends. Obviously, yeah, I made a couple of friends when I was in Barca. And um, coming here also, I've made a couple of friends as well. And talking about the game, I think the style of football in Barca, I think it's something incredible. And it takes years to build things like that. And I was um, able to, to be part of this group for five years. And I think um, I'm really happy I was able to experience uh, that type of football. 
in my career and obviously uh, coming to Bay AFC, um, our team is trying to emulate the same style and I think it's pretty interesting because in this league, I think we're one of the best teams when it comes to possession and coming together the first year, what if, what we've achieved so far as a team, how we've been able to play against teams, I think um, um, it's just something incredible and I give kudos to the coaching staff as well and the players uh, for being patient up to this point. So I think... Um, I would have said I missed the style of football there, but again, we're playing that same style of football here. So, <laughs> to quickly be those questions by Tanif that's been submitted online. What does it mean that the uh, Barca female team? female team is able to tour around the United States independently from the male team. Well, I wouldn't like to compare ourselves to the male team. We are who we are, and I believe we have had a very good years, and which has had helped us to make a good name for ourselves at a global level nowadays, which is something that has allowed us to be here in the uni United States stage, which I consider a country that treats their sport players very well. It doesn't matter which sport. We can see proof of that in the way they treat their facilities. So for me, as part of the team, I feel very proud to be part of this tour, such as this one. Take one. I'll take one more first. We have one other online question. This one is for uh, Coach. How is it going for you this uh, first weeks as a head coach at a personal level? What What are your feelings? Well, happiness to the max. Very privileged to be able to train this player. I'm very privileged to be part of this team. I'm very, very happy in my everyday because I'm passionate about my work, and my work conditions are great, and that's because I'm surrounded by very good players, a very good club and staff. Therefore, my everydays, they go very positive. They're very good. The team is growing at training levels, and they're growing every day. When it comes to matches, they're doing well, and I'm sure the team will be not doing very, doing well. There's a way to talk to season swung back. I have a question for Alberti. Online here, um, Coach uh, Joseph Dykus with the uh, Mercury News wants to know: um, Is there what is the potential that Abby Dahl Kemper may be available tomorrow, and what is the biggest strength strength she brings to the team from a skill set standpoint? So we'll make the decision on Abby after today's practice. We're going to see how she's feeling, and uh, we'd love to have her play at least a half if she's uh, available, and. Uh, what she brings. She brings leadership, she brings experience, and uh, a lot of uh, success. She's won multiple NWSL championships, and just her experiences and, uh, and leadership is really good. what's going to make the difference here on our team. Uh, we're excited to have her, and I consider her one of the best center backs in the league, so it's, um, you know, it's something that we're excited to have. Other questions in the room? River? Is that a question for you? Uh, is that, uh, yeah, I've met you again. <laughs> And uh, how did it feel in the world to do a going to uh, play uh, against your ex mates? So, ex your team. So, what do you feel? And if I need to do uh, the last season, you see your ex teammates and follow the. How do I feel? Okay. Um, personally, I think it's pretty interesting to play against them again. I think I have to play against like the Barca team, the second time in a month, because half of them played uh, for Spain, and we played against Spain a couple of weeks ago. Uh, um, it's always an honor to play um, against this, these girls. They're amazing people, uh, play great football. It's always fun, you know. Uh, being on the other side feels a bit different. I just hope I don't give a lot of wrong passes tomorrow to them, thinking they're still my teammate. <laughs> but yeah, I think... Um, um, it will be very, very amazing to to go against them again tomorrow um, from the other side of of the game, and like I said earlier, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. 
Bé, jo, jo que porto molts anys a la casa eh, he vist passar moltes jugadores, eh, he, vist, bueno, he compartit eh, molts anys vestuari amb jugadores que després han marxat, i després sempre és, és interessant i, i, i bonic retrobar-te, eh, tot i que sigui en contra, no? Eh, reinteressant i, i bonic retrobar-me amb la CISAT, que ha estat molts anys a la casa, ens ha jugat molt, eh, com bé dius, ha marcat molts gols, i, i bé, eh, li desitjo el millor sempre i desitjo que també estigui sent feliç aquí a la seva nova casa i pel que fa el partit de demà doncs re el, el veig un, un equip de nova creació eh, que juga a la Lliga Estadounidense com ha dit el Pere abans és un equip diferent eh, que, que està en plena competició nosaltres no, així que ens servirà com una prova per veure com estem ara mateix i sabeu que, que, ens, que ens serveix. Era, era, una, 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 una mica em va encara els equips partits, va jugar, jugar els eh, Mila, el Pérez i Hoffenheim, bé, ara una, els he jugat unes indicacions que van anar amb ells, com, com analitzes aquest partit, com, com les veus? El bar. Home, serà, serà un partit exigent, sobretot perquè elles ja venen més preparades que nosaltres a nivell de minutatges i a nivell de de partits disputats el, els últims mesos. Llavors, bueno, ens esperem un partit que ens imaginem que elles tenen molta, molta, molta capacitat de contraatacar, molta capacitat de fer transicions ofensives, no només amb la CISAT, sinó amb altres jugadores. Llavors haurem d'estar molt preparades per la pèrdua, haurem d'atacar totes juntes per intentar evitar contraatacs, que és el seu principal perill, i després estar molt precises als metros finals per evitar pèrdues, que això ens pugui fer córrer totes enrere, que ja tindrem duels eh, individuals molt, molt, molt exigents. One more, we'll take one more question in the room, and then uh, we have the one online question as well. Go ahead. Okay. What are your remarks about the American sport or football that is being, um, that's practiced in the U.S.? Hello, how's it going? Thank you. I wouldn't want to talk about football. I spoke about it before, about the American sport in general. Right now, we're at the university. Overall, I don't know them, and I was told they're not at the top level, but I can tell by looking at the facilities that they are treated as top-level players. That's something that you don't see in our country, so it's something that I do admire because they treat the sports equally. From early ages, they start giving the importance to university so that that way, later on, those players have good conditions. It's something to admire, and Uh, not only in football, but in general, and it's always cool to come here and to see how this board. Question from the room, Mary, go ahead. This is for the BFC side of things, and it's not only for fun actually playing, but since these are players you know and are, are friends with, have you had a chance to actually hang out with them outside of practice and getting ready while they're here in the Bay Area? Oh, you mean the Basso team? Um, I think they arrived last night, so <laughs> I think they came. They came in late last night, but of course I'm gonna um, have to go visit them today and show them a bit of the Bay Area. And luckily they stay really close to to us, yeah. So a couple of nice things to see here, mm -hmm. and probably nice coffee as well. <laughs> Are there any last questions in the room? Amber, go ahead. Coach Montoya, this one's for you. Um, with bringing in such a world-class team and BFC having a relatively young team, how is this match going to help prep for the second half of the season, especially with them players? So the way I look at it is uh, Barcelona is a style of football that we have fallen in love with. And when I say we, it's our staff. And it is the type of football we want to play. We know it takes a long time. And uh, it's great for our players and our fans to see the style Uh, life. Uh, it's going to be great for us to go and see our video against them and learn from it. That's how I see it. Um, so it's just an incredible opportunity all the way around and uh, just growing the, the game. Uh, but I have so much respect for this organization. Uh, it's a, a football club that I followed since uh, I was 10 years old. So I'm actually nervous to, uh, sitting next to them because it really is. I mean, uh, if I, anyone that knows me, um, I've got Barcelona shirts hanging all over my house, uh, Messi shirts. Uh, uh, when I saw Aitana Bonati play for the first time, uh, fell in love with her game, the way she plays. I saw her play at uh, Johan Cruyff, their stadium against Valencia uh, a few years ago. And uh, it, was, it was 
it was magic. It really was. So I have so much respect for uh, this team and uh, the way they play. And uh, it's just what a great opportunity for all of us to see it and learn from it and to hopefully play that t- style of football one day. And maybe we show them something that attracts some of their players to come our way. But we'll see. <laughs>